Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to talk about a couple of ways to clear the terminal as well as how to fix it um, in case it gets all garbled and messed up. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so I sometimes do this, but um, I know some people that do this a lot more um, repeatedly or <laughs> a lot more often, uh, which is that when you know they run commands or whatever, you know, echo high, Echo, you know, hello, hello, or whatever. Um, maybe they've run a bunch of commands. Um, and often people want to have the terminal up at the top of the screen, like this. I actually do this before I record any video, so that <laughs> you get rid of the scroll back here. Um, and there are two main ways to uh, set the scroll back back to the beginning. Uh, one of them is the one that's, you know, commonly done, which is to type out the command clear. And that will uh, scroll you back up to the beginning. Uh, note here that if I scroll up, I don't get any history before that. It's actually just cleared the screen entirely. Um, you can actually look at how clear works by typing it to hd-c, which is a hex dump. Um, you can see that it's a special escape sequence. In fact, I believe it's the same as this if we were to type it out 2j, uh, 3j. Yeah. Although I would have to do dash n so that it gets right up to the top of the screen. But anyway, that's that's the equivalent to clear, apparently. <laughs> um, that's one way to do this. Uh, let's show another way. Another way is to type control L. Uh, and control L will set it set you back up to the top of the screen. Now note that control L is a little bit different than clear in that if you scroll up, you can still see this up here. Um, and that appears to be, <laughs> it appears to be the way that control L works is to insert a bunch of new lines and then scroll it so that's the bottom. So that's a little bit different. Um, and I'm going to show you one other way, which is the one that I use, um, because it does both of these things and it also unbreaks the terminal. Um, I'm going to show a buggy tool here called, called poetry. Um... <laughs> Which, oh my goodness, poetry has so many dependencies. That's crazy. Uh, but anyway, one of one part about poetry is it has an initialization setup which guides you through a you know a um, a setup of a package and it's interactive and stuff. And so if you press enter a few times, um, it'll ask you for different things and uh, eventually it'll ask you for packages. So let's say we're going to make this depend on AST pretty for some reason. Um, and interestingly, if you control C here, uh, this actually breaks the terminal. So if I type echo high, you'll see that, it, I, I mean, you heard the keyboard sounds, but nothing showed up on the screen. If I press enter, you'll see it prints high. Um, so it's in this kind of like weird terminal attributes messed up state. Um, and you'll notice if I type clear, uh, it's still messed up. If I do control L, control L does nothing apparently. <laughs> Still messed up, um, but one way to fix this is to type reset. And what reset will do is it'll both clear the terminal and it'll reset all of the terminal attributes. Reset. Um, now I often find that like sometimes reset doesn't work and so you have to do reset, enter, reset, enter to make it work. Um, but it'll clear the screen and then put it back into you know a good state here. And again, it also removes the scroll back. So that's something that you'll lose there. But I've... I've run into something similar to this in all sorts of different tools where, like, uh, upon exit, they don't reset the proper terminal attributes, and so um, the, the, the TTY attributes are just broken. The terminal's broken, uh, and reset can get you back to a good state. But anyway, that's, uh, that's all I've got for today. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.